Hey, it's Blackbird. Right. Hey, we just wanted to tell you thanks. Really appreciate the help you gave us last week. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, sure. Couldn't have done it without you. All right. We'll check in with you next time. All right, cool. All right. Bye. We arrive late at night and all are thoroughly exhausted. Everyone crashes as soon as we tie up for the night. In the morning, Luca returns from an early morning excursion and brings back gifts for everyone from the famous bakery named Spinato. Incredibly, Guy admits he has never eaten a cannoli in his entire life. It's true, I had never eaten a cannoli in my life. So what better place to try one than in Sicily? Okay, Guy. First cannoli. My first cannoli of my whole life. I'm sorry. Uh, I know everyone is thinking I'm insane, but... I've never had the opportunity. <laughs> and we're in Palermo, so I have to. So. The spinato wine. Spinato. And. Mm. You take. <laughs> wow. I heard an angel in this ear singing. You should have. Wow, that's extraordinarily good. From here, the bar has been set pretty high. After seeing to a few boat chores, Kay and I set off to explore the city for the rest of the day. We find ourselves in front of the Massimo Theater. It was built in 1897 and it actually holds 1,300 people. We were ready for some lunch at this point, and when we walked past this place, the smell of fresh bread and pizza was way too much. So we ordered some focaccia pizzas. How is it? Delicious. Guy and I love seeing historical places, and we love seeing interesting architecture. We scored because Palermo has both. The streets were full of people and all the shops were open, which is something we really hadn't seen for a long time. There was a lot of people walking around. There are plenty of places to eat outdoors here, and almost every street we walked down had restaurants on them. They looked fantastic too. We just happened to walk into an intersection of two streets where each of the four corners had this amazing architecture and statues, all facing the square. Well, it actually was a circle, but you get what I mean. We were really lucky to have stumbled into this square. It was beautiful. There's The statues were cool, and there's actually a fountain here, too. Four corners are all stunning. We really love walking around new cities and just getting lost, following our noses and people watching. The best is looking down alleys and small side streets. And finding good snacks too. For sure. One of the places we were told we had to visit was the Cathedral del Palermo. Just up the street from the cathedral was one of the old gates that used to be part of the wall that encircled the old city. This was the north gate. There's also a south gate, but being this part of town, we visited the north gate. <laughs> the outside of the gate was really beautiful. It had these really nice uh, statues sculpted into the wall. Time for another snack. It's gelato time. <laughs> this is actually what pistachio or pistachio gelato should look like. It's not, not lime green. Right, no neon green. This is a beautiful old city. And like we said, we love exploring the smaller streets. 
I really like finding interesting street art. Sometimes you can find really small sketches in pencil on buildings or a cool sticker that I had never seen before. And, you know, and actually some pretty interesting graffiti, which is a little controversial, but... Yeah, but it's still fun to look at if it's done well. Yeah, I think uh, in one of our videos about Athens, we actually included a small section on all the street art that we saw. And we're going to do the same here. There's some really beautiful parks here in Palermo also. One particular park has these huge trees, and I think they're fica trees. We thought they were banyan, but I believe they're fica. Someone will have to correct us. Beautiful tree. Okay, in this scene, I think you will see every mode of transportation. Horse, scooter, bike, walking. And now we're at the south gate of the old part of the city. It looks like this gate protected from the sea mm -hmm. and the other gate protected from land. The night before departure, our boat was looking really beautiful in the marina. The water was totally flat and the reflections looked as good as the real objects above water. Yeah, that was neat. Yeah, we had a nice dinner, some more pizza that was the most unusual and most delicious pizza I think I've ever had. The next morning we had to get some gas refilled, get our diesel refilled before we headed out. We're now on our way to Sardinia. It was a beautiful morning leaving Palermo. And we knew as soon as we got around the headland that the wind was going to pick up. Yeah, I think the prediction was winds between 17 and 25 knots. The city really looked beautiful with the full moon setting and the morning sun rising. As soon as we hit anywhere near the headland, the wind started picking up and we immediately went to setting our first reef. It was definitely a fun and lively morning. The very top of this headland had an observation tower that we were told was very old and they could see pirates from there was the point. We're really excited to be off and heading to Sardinia. By the way, this is what our Instagram videos look like. If you care to subscribe to us or find us on Instagram, you can find our link to our Instagram account in the notes below. Yeah, go check it out. That's where we post a lot of pictures and some small videos. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And we appreciate all your comments for those that have come in so far. We love reading them. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh. What? We'll see you again. Yeah, we'll see you next week. On Sailing Buckbird. <laughs> she's insane right now. She needs some attention. Oh, she's like, you she guys ignored up. me all day and I've been cooked up for six days in the wind.